Hey Aquarius, welcome to your reading for March 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. And a big thank you goes out to all you guys for being patient with me for these, getting these readings out for you. Um, the energies have been a little rough lately and many of us have gotten behind, but here we are. All right, we're getting it done. Get her done. So this is going to be a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. All of the information for the, my readings that I offer is in the description box below. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, you can do so at divine underscore conversations. And if you would like to check me out on, in, on, you, on Facebook, there it is, on Facebook, you can do that at Divine Conversations 2711. The links for that are in the description box below. So going to be doing it a little bit differently this time around um, instead, you know, other than me recording this so that we can have a bit of a conversation, you can see my face um, face to face while we're doing the reading. I'm going to be starting off with the uh, an Oracle card for your month to describe the energies of your month. And then we're going to get deeper into it with the Tarot. Yes. So I'm um, uh, as normal, though, I am sticking to the Unicorn Oracle cards to get your Oracle card uh, general energy for the month. And then I'm going to be using the Chris, um, now, wow. The golden universal tarot for the freestyle reading that I, uh, spread that I use. Okay. All right. So here we go, Aquarius. Let's get to it. Hi spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for March 2019. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, Aquarius, let's see what we've got for you this month. Aquarius, 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 sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Let's see what we've got for you guys. One more shuffle. All right. Aquarius, the theme of your month for March 2019. What's going on for you guys? What's your theme here? Ooh, all right, Aquarius. You got patience. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be play, uh, I'm sorry, be patient and play whilst you wait, okay? So something's happening in the background. Um, you, maybe you're working on manifesting something and you just need to give it some more time. Um, for some of you, you're definitely going through a lesson in divine timing. I know that's a very hard thing for a lot of us to handle or to accept. Um, because divine timing is not our timing, right? But hey, you really can't rush. You can't rush your blessings, says spirit. Everything comes in at divine time, at divine right time, when it is right for you. And especially if you're going through a situation where you feel, you f may feel like you're ready for it, but it's not coming through. There is a deeper reason as to why it's not coming through. And maybe if you're waiting on a relationship, you might be ready, but the ideal partner out there for you that the universe is working on helping you align with is not ready, okay? Or it's just not the right time for you right now. Maybe there are some other things that you need to be focusing on, working on, other than what it is you're really focused on. You know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. All right, Aquarius, we're going to shuffle this one more time, and then we'll see what we've got for you. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, guys, here we go. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Aquarius. <laughs> yeah, the hanged man. All right. So yeah, you really do need to be patient, don't you? But um, 
for a lot of you, the reason why you're in this position right now is because you need to gain some sort of enlightenment, or at least you need to work on seeing the situation from a different point of view, okay, with the hanged man. That is basically the ultimate goal here. So many of you might be feeling stuck, stagnant, might be feeling like, um, you know, you don't know where you're going, or you don't know why this situation is like not working out for you, but it's because you need to work on seeing it from a different point of view, okay? And that's really the big big lesson here all right you've got wow you've got fo that followed by the four of swords which in my opinion is the minor arcana version of the uh the hanged man so yeah it's wow my goodness like the universe really is driving home this need for patience for you okay the four of swords is about taking a rest uh meditating maybe practicing some self-care maybe healing some wounds. Um, wow, okay. You also have the Six of Cups. And then you have the Three of Wands. So yeah, you've definitely, many of you, or if not all of you, or at least for those of you that this situation, this, res this is resonating with right now, um, you've put in a lot of good hard work. You've worked on getting the ball rolling, and now you're just, you're feeling, many of you are feeling frustrated. Why isn't this working out? Why isn't this coming through? patience it's just not time yet okay now the six of cups talks about the past there is some sort of healing that needs to happen with the past um maybe with children or from your past from your childhood situations or just the past in general um something that and i feel like for many of you that's the big blockage here it's something from the past that needs to be healed um that you're holding on to or that you need to see from a different point of view to understand maybe a deeper lesson associated with it in order to really move forward and allow the space for whatever it is you're working for and whatever it is you've invested in to come through all right so um, there are going to be two rows here in this reading as normal. Um, usually I describe it as like the beginning of the month and the second half of your month. You can look at it that way or you can just look at it as two parts of the reading. The first half of your reading, second half of your reading. All right. So in the first half of your reading or potentially maybe for the first half of your month, first set of surrounding energies, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. All right. So things are changing. There is a big re there's a big realignment happening here for you. Things are changing underneath the surface. The universe is working behind the scenes to line things up for you. Again, you just really just need to be patient with it. You can only affect the direction in which the wheel turns. You can't you can't affect whether it turns or not. It's always going to turn or nor can you affect how fast it turns. You just have to go with the flow here. And the only way you can affect the direction of the turn of where it's turning or how that relates to how it's turning to you, how that relates to you is through your vibration, okay? So this is really about, what I'm seeing here for you guys, Aquarius, is this is really about aligning with the situation. Instead of trying to force it to happen, instead work on that alignment with the situation because your where your alignment lies in relation to what this, the the name to what the situation is is going to affect when it happens how it happens why it happens but you can't control that all you can control is your alignment in association with it okay the wheel of fortune is coupled with the Knight of Cups. All right. So over time, you have to give it time. This could really be a romantic situation. Um, you have to give this time. You have to allow this person, whoever it is, whether it's you, Aquarius, or maybe if you're a cross watcher watching for an Aquarius, you have to allow this person the time to, to make the decision on their own, to come forward on their own time with their own understanding. This is very much an inf a situation in which you have to allow this person if you're waiting on someone to make you some sort of offer um, you have to allow them to come to their own conclusions about the situation to come to their own realizations to want to do it for their own reasons not necessarily for your reasons or other people's reasons okay um, especially if you're waiting for an Aquarius to make some sort of move Aquarius is a fixed sign Sorry, if you hear that, that's my, those are my roommates. But Aquarius is a fixed sign. So it's not like you are going to force them into anything that they don't want to do, okay? All right. Second set of surrounding energies for you here. You've got the world. 
See? So you have two cards of completion here between the Wheel of Fortune, which is a 10, and the World, which technically is 21, but it's the end of the Major Arcana. It's the end of the cycle of the Major Arcana. For then, from there, you move to the Fool, which is taking a new leap of faith in a new direction, okay? But again, what this is saying is that this, the universe is lining things up in the background for you, is working on closing out the situation. You just have to be patient and allow the situation to, have to close off, close out on its own, okay? Maintain your alignment with, you know, you can either maintain your alignment with the past situation that's closing out. So that means maintaining the alignment that you have developed in order to get it to this point where it is closing out of the, the, the situation is closing out or and or you could do both actually spirit did say do both um, maintain your alignment to what it is you would like to move forward with in the next cycle okay staying in that balance this is very much speaking to the in-between world situation that we've been talking about a lot lately um, you have to main, you really do kind of have to maintain your alignment with both sides of the equation in order to allow that situation to close out and allow this new situation to come in, okay? Mm -hmm. The world is coupled with the devil. You see? And what's closing out here is maybe you're maybe you have a situation that you're dealing with a Capricorn with, um, but um, the, the, what's being closed out here, I'm feeling specifically for you guys is codependent relationships, codependent situations. Gosh, my nose is itching. Codependent situations, um, um, toxic or narcissistic or, uh, uh, addictive situations here. And yes, that's going to take some time. Yes, you absolutely do need to be patient with yourself about this, especially if this is something that developed as a child, like this is an addiction or a circumstance that developed in the whatever it is you experienced as a child, those are deeply, deeply rooted situations, okay? You really have to be patient with yourself when it comes to healing those, all right? Your challenge, in the first half of your month here, you've got the Four of Wands. So for some of you, this is healing family issues, um, uh, issues within the home, issues within the foundation. And this is why, that's, this is exactly like what, what I was just saying. This is why the Four of Wands would be in your challenge because this is your actual foundation, especially if we're talking about within you specifically, okay? So whatever may have happened in your childhood or in the past that added this sort of codependency or tendencies towards addictions or tendencies towards att attracting toxic or narcissistic uh, individuals or circumstances into your life, that has to be reshaped. Your foundation needs to be reshaped when it comes to that situ situation or circumstance. So yes, patience with yourself. <laughs> patience with yourself is ideal, is necessary. Not even just ideal, it's, it's necessary, Aquarius, okay? And even if you're watching for, a, if you're cross watching for an Aquarian that is going through this, dealing with something like this, you've got to be patient with them. And my advice would be to let go of any sort of expectation or attachment or any sort of expectation towards a certain outcome. Just let it go, okay? Because that's going to help free you up. Um, to not feel so tied down or bogged down by this situation. Go about your own business. Do what it is that you need to do. Work on making yourself happy, maintaining your balance and your happiness and all that, and allow them to handle this on their time. You cannot rush this. They cannot rush this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that right there. Let me, let me do a little bit. Let me, let me, let me do a little bit of that. Patience, <laughs> okay? The Four of Wands is coupled with the, mm, the Nine of Swords. This is a tough situation, guys. If you're the one dealing with it, then you know how tough it is. If you're on the outside looking in as in a cross watcher, this is tough. This is creating a lot of sleep, sleepless nights. It's creating a lot of anxiety. It's just... And, and the, more, the more you try to push, the more you try to force this situation to happen, the more of this anxious energy you're just going to inject into the situation because you're only going to propel it uh, wait, you're only going to repel it, excuse me, you're going to repel it from you even more. You're going to create more and more resistance, which is going to put more and more of a delay on the situation, which is only going to create more of this stress and anxiety. The advice here, 
Four of Swords. Take a break. Take a rest. Meditate. Detach. Okay? The closing message or potential outcome here for the first half of your reading Aquarius, you've got the Ace of Wands. So good. See, this is what you're moving towards. Brand new inspiration. Um, a brand new passionate start. This is belief in yourself, greater belief in yourself. And I really do feel like once this wheel, once you get through this change that the Wheel of Fortune is representing for you, you'll have a new zest for life or a new lease on life, okay? The Ace of Wands is coupled with the Hierophant. All right. This is inspiration from your higher self, okay? This is... A new direction, a new maybe a new, even a new creative direction that you're going to be moving in. If it's not necessarily creative, it's just a new passion towards a new direction that is inspired by your higher self. Yes, the Hierophant can, can represent um, convention, university. Maybe some of you are getting into the, uh, the energies of um, going back to school or figuring out what kind of um, career you want to study or what you want to study in school if like say you are um, graduating high school and are about to go to college um, <laughs> maybe some of you are waiting because this would be the time period if you like you're a senior in high school and you've been going through the college application process this potentially around now would be the, the time where you're either waiting to hear back or starting he to hear back from schools. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but now that I'm, that makes perfect, perfect sense. If that is what you're, and it, you don't have to be a college, uh, I'm sorry, you don't have to be a high school student. You could be a college student that's moving towards your graduate degree, or maybe you're starting to move, moving towards your undergrad. Um, but that would be, uh, that would be more high school, wouldn't it? Yes. But anyway, um, either way, it doesn't have to be school or university. Um, it can be, uh, for some of you, this is a religion. Maybe you're starting, you're trying to find a religion to practice, um, and you just can't quite figure it out. And so now there's going to be some sort of inspiration that's going to lead you in the right direction. Beautiful. Um, but it doesn't have to be that. It also could just be downloads from your higher self or inspiration from your higher self to move in a new direction. Okay? Excellent. All right, uh, Aquarius. So moving forward to the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, you've got the Four of Pentacles. Ooh. This feels like you're holding on to something. Sometimes it can speak to maintaining your foundation, maintaining your finances, but I feel like you're holding on to something. Uh, it's specifically holding on to something in expectation of whatever it is you're, whatever new it is you're creating in your life to, um, to, to resonate with whatever it is you're holding on to, but that is absolutely not the case. The world and the devil. The, the, the devil energy here, the codependency, the addiction or the, the, the attachment to something is what's holding the situation back. It's what's holding the, keeping the situation from closing out. And so you have to let go of something here with the four of pentacles, okay? Four of pentacles is coupled with... Now, also, this could be Taurus energy too because Taurans kind of can be a little bit of a hoarder sometimes. Um, I mean, I have a Taurus sun as far as Western astrology goes and yeah, I have quite a few things I could be letting go of right now. But you know what? That's okay. We'll get to across that bridge when we get there. But also we have the Hierophant here, which can represent Taurus. So maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. Um, maybe you're an Aquarian that's waiting for a Taurus to make some sort of change. Or um, maybe you're a Taurus that is trying to connect with an Aquarian, but someone is just holding on to some sort of belief or ideal or idea that um, isn't resonating with the situation, okay? It could absolutely be something from your childhood, a way that you think or taught were taught that a relationship should work. Maybe some sort of idealistic circumstance that you have been dreaming about in your life, but doesn't really isn't really all that realistic, or it doesn't really resonate with you, and you need to be experiencing something more, something new, and then you need to be letting go of that because that absolutely could be clo uh, uh, blocking the situation from coming forward. Oh my goodness. Sorry guys, maybe that alarm, that car alarm will stop. I don't know how much of it you can hear, but it's quite distracting. Ah, there we go, okay. So you know, all of that. The Four of Pentacles is coupled with 
the five of wands. But see, something tells me that you guys already know that you need to let go of this ideal, this idealistic circumstance is specifically what I'm hearing, but you're conflicted about it. Maybe it's because it's something that you wanted for so long, you don't wanna like say abandon it. But if it really doesn't work for you or really doesn't resonate with your life any longer, why would you want to hold on to that? There really could be something brand new and better, more exciting, says the universe, that could be coming down the pipeline for you. But you're closing yourself off to it because you won't let go of this idealism or idealistic th thinking. That's what I'm specifically hearing here. And that absolutely could be what is represented by the, um, the, the hanged man. Absolutely. I don't know if you can hear that music now, but that's my roommate. Saturdays in Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> okay, moving forward, second set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius. You've got the eight of pentacles. Excellent. So in the face of all of this, all of this patience that you need to have, all of this new perspective that you need to work on gaining, I do see you doing the work to achieve that. Eight of pentacles. Now, on the other hand, are you drowning yourself in work to distract yourself from what isn't working out in your favor to distract yourself from making some sort of change, Mr. or Miss Fixed Sign Aquarius? Yes. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles is coupled with, yeah, the Five of Cups. So either you're doing the work to move away from the sorrow, this heartbreak, this disappointment, the, the guilt or shame of the situation, or you're drowning out your sorrows by focusing on work. I would not recommend that. Instead, I would recommend you take some time to work on healing, to work on, um, yeah, to work on your healing of the situation so that you can get out of this sorrowful energy and move through it, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Aquarius, you've got, ah, look at that, the fool. So there you go. You're moving, you're going from the world, which is the completion of the this whatever major or arcana cycle that this represents for you, this major overarching um, cycle that is, is completing for you, and just embarking on a new adventure, uh, taking that leap of faith. And yes, as a fixed sign, as an Aquarian, you don't necessarily really like change, but that's what's coming. That's what's necessary in order for you to move forward in whatever direction it is you want for yourself, okay? The Fool is coupled with the six of wands. So yet, look, there's going to be some real serious victory for you when you take this leap of faith, when you work on closing out whatever it is that needs to be closed out, letting go of whatever it is you're holding on to in order to free yourself to take this leap of faith. And here, look at it this way. You see the fool there? You see how all he really has with him as he's taking that leap of faith is that tiny little bag that's hanging over his shoulder? There are some things that you need to let go of. And you won't be able to do this. You won't be able to take this leap of faith. You won't be able to have this victory until you let go of some of the things that are holding you down. We don't have a 10 of wands energy here and maybe it'll come out. You have one more set of cards here that in which the, the 10 of wands could come out, but it doesn't feel that heavy. It doesn't feel that burdensome. It's just something, it's ide idealism of some way, of some sort. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with having an idealistic point of view, but it becomes a hindrance when you require your life to look like the way you think it should. You know what I mean? Okay, so the closing message or potential outcome here for you in the second half of your reading, Aquarius, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. All right, learning your lesson, your harvest, learning through the contrast, reaping what you've sown. Um, it's very much, okay, so another point um, within this change that's happening for you here, Aquarius, you need to take a break, take some time, and this absolutely could be what is symbolized by the hanged man and the four of swords here. Take some time to go over what it is you've experienced. What is your current harvest? Do you like what you see? Do you like what you harvest? What do you or what do you or don't you like about this situation? And what do you need to do moving forward to either get more of what you do like and less of what you do want or to get something completely different? Right? Is is the, do you want something completely different? Now is the time with the hanged man and the four of swords. Now is the time to work on that.
to analyze that, to answer that question for yourself, to be patient with yourself and come to that new point of view. Okay. Seven of pentacles, excuse me, seven of pentacles is coupled with temperance, patience. I mean, it's so funny because I was looking at, I was, I was doing this reading. And at one point I said in my, in the back of my head, I was like, huh, I wonder if temperance is going to come out here. How funny would that be? Because we are talking so much about patience between the actual Oracle card that says patience on it, the hanged man and the four of swords, which can talk about patience, although isn't the official card for it. And now lo and behold, the very last card that comes out in your reading Aquarius, temperance. AKA patience. But you see, this is about balancing out. This is about taking what you learned in the past, where you want to go in the future and balancing those energies and figuring out how to go about it. All right, Aquarius. <sighs> so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great April, uh, March, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of April. Yeah, take care. Mwah! Bye.